welcome to today's vlogmas video today i have a very special guest with me hi shivangi welcome to my channel hi anam thank you so much for having me here and hi everyone i'm damn excited for this because we've been talking about doing like videos together for a little bit and i'm yes. glad that this has happened uh, i am very excited for this video because it's been a while since i did something like this and i feel like with shaadi season I could not think of anybody else but you to do this particular topic with. <laughs> Shivangi much like me is a beauty junkie. We love makeup. We've been talking about yes. makeup both on and off camera mm. and um she's also the founder of a snack cosmetics. We are using her beauty blenders Our today. Our beauty blenders today. Yes. So, Apart from a lot of verified stuff that I love. <laughs> You're very kind. Thank you. Um so today we're basically doing a wedding guest look, a bridesmaids look, whatever the way you'd like to look at it. The yes. idea is to give you like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how both of us do Our individual makeup, individual makeup with yeah. really, really affordable makeup items. So all the items we're using in today's video are under thousand or under fifteen hundred, and obviously all not available. Not above fifteen hundred for sure. Not above fifteen hundred for, for sure. sure. In It's fact, most of my most items are like under thousand. To be honest, I just said fifteen hundred to be on the well. safe yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, na. Yeah. Okay. Love that for us. Love that for you. We'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm clearly in a uh, blouse, kurta, kurta. Don't be fooled. I'm wearing pajamas down. <laughs> Let's just dive right into this. Okay, so we're already moisturized, prepped, primed. That whole thing has yes. been done. We'll start with I start with foundation, but you start. I with, start with concealer. So, so you're gonna get variety in yeah. today's um, you know, entire we're, routine. We're gonna do our routines in our own way. So what I like to do is apply the concealer on all the areas where I need the concealer, and then apply the foundation so that I don't double layer it. But Anam applies the foundation yeah, first, right? Yeah, I like always it. apply my foundation. And you, first. you do layer it for extra coverage so under your eyes, right? So the reasoning like, that we were talking I, about it. No? Yeah. So the reason I like to go in with foundation and then concealer is because I also have a lot of like graying and under eye yeah. issues. So it's the simplest way for me to combat because then I get some coverage and then I don't need to put too much concealer. Yeah. But here's the question for you: If you put your concealer before you put your foundation, mm -hmm. um, does that mean you match your skin and apply it? Do you go lighter? Do you go darker? How do you know what to do? Because the foundation still hasn't I, come on. I apply the closest match to my skin tone. If whenever I'm applying concealer okay. first, so it has to be like the closest match to my skin tone, and then if if at all I'm going for a heavier look, uh -huh. I apply after applying the foundation. I use a lighter concealer just to, to brighten highlight. it up. Yeah, to brighten it up. Got it. Got it. So I don't really go into everywhere for the foundation because I believe in taking like my skin also yeah. allows me to take a little less foundation. Yeah. I always focus on how like skin should look like skin. Yeah. So I take very little and I. I uh, make sure that I go all over, including my under eyes for sure. Don't worry, I am going yeah. to link every single product we're using today down below in the description section. So in case we don't mention it, you're going to find the link down. Actually, especially for weddings, you know, I believe that a lot of people go base heavy, and it's not really required. Yeah. Like you don't need to go base heavy. Yeah. Like you know, a lot of layers of foundation and concealer. Like, I know that like a lot of people like to put on very heavy makeup, but you don't need that. You I feel like you can be heavy on the eyes. You don't have to eyes. go heavy on exactly. the skin. Exactly. Yeah. Also, my neighbor has just started a driller. <laughs> For some reason, कुछ काम चल रहा है. Timing sucks. So I'm sorry about that. In case you can hear it in the background, can't do anything about it. Um. But don't you also feel like with weddings, like one of the things that I've heard so much from my girlfriends when we go for weddings together or destination weddings and things mm. like that, is that one of the complaints about that they have about their makeup is that makeup doesn't last long. And my yes. perpetual response to them is, prep karo, prep karo, prime karo, and your makeup will last. What? What have you no, heard that? No, of course, one? of course, of course, I've gotten that. And you know, there are few things like I think it. Also depends on how, like how I was saying, right? That a lot of people go base heavy. Yeah. Now a heavy base does not mean it's going to last for a long time. In fact, it cracks easily. Yeah. Like it cracks faster. So, of pre prepping and priming is probably the most important step. Yeah. Before doing your makeup, 
yeah and uh, then of course you need to also use products the kind of product like i'm uh, sorry uh then of course you also have to use certain products to help your base stay on your skin yeah for example irl <laughs> <laughs> okay this is not an ad this is not a sponsored video but honestly i'm telling you like i actually today i i tried out uh irl paris filter from verified and it is such an amazing it but doesn't actually come like this ha huh? ye sample hai yeah, this is this is a sample but it's a beautiful product and it actually you know keeps your makeup on in place for a long long time Thank so there are you. certain products as well which you can use to keep your makeup in place and it's very important to keep the layers also to a minimum to a minimum yeah, yeah. i mean there's a way of going heavy like for yeah. example if you are looking to make a statement up for like a colored eye or a smoky eye a blue pink green aajkal sab kuch chalta hai exactly, and if yeah. you do it right that's totally fine yeah. i feel like when no more in an age where people are like hi is so much makeup now yeah. people appreciate makeup if it's done well as well yeah. which is really cool um but i feel like being like okay, another thing that i've kind of realized so mm. i host makeup workshops yeah um one on one with like followers and people and one of the main learnings i've had from them is that sometimes people buy products because someone is talking about it without yeah. realizing that your skin type is dry but it's, their skin type they're recommending to you is oily oily so yeah. when you're following creators even like us yeah. bear in mind things like our skin type if we're yeah. recommending something it's probably good for us so exactly. you need to have those caveats in mind that we've given you information and now you need to deduct what exactly. you should buy based on our recommendations and what you should probably skip I it's, have dry always, skin. Yeah, I have a dry skin as well. So I always kind of mentions this to my audience that listen, these are the products that I have tested and tried on myself. Correct. And these, I can only recommend products which I can test on my own. Yeah, of course. So, of uh, it depends. Like you will, of course, have to kind of understand that. Like uh, out of all the products, like usually if there is a product which can suit all skin types, we usually mention it that this is probably yeah. good for oily yeah. skin as well. Yeah. This is probably something which can suit everyone, but not every product can suit everyone. Yeah. It's always very subjective. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. I'm going in with my snack beauty blender over here. <laughs> She gifted this baby to me literally just today, and can I tell you, it is <laughs> so soft and Thank so you. easy to work with. We have a little special something between verified and snack, so make sure you read the description section down below. Yes, please. Don't miss that. <laughs> Listen, this product is genuinely so good and easy to blend with. Thank you. Thank like, you so much. I'm it means going so ahead much to me. and just touching it in, and it's blending my concealer. The concealer I'm using is the Infallible from L'Oreal. <laughs> Linking everything below. Don't worry about that, including the blender. Super, super, super easy to work with. I love Thank that. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's one? We talked about one makeup trend we'd never try in a video that we did on Shivani's <laughs> channel. So I'm yeah. gonna leave that link in for you to go take a look at it and have a good laugh because it's a beauty based challenge video. <laughs> But tell me, what is like one beauty product that you never knew, or one beauty step or technique that you never knew you would love so much? Mm, I'll I'll be honest. When I started, you know, with beauty vlogging, so like how I was saying that keeping layers like minimal layers and not go base heavy. Yeah. So when I when I was starting out, of course, I was also trying to learn everything, and I was watching a lot of YouTube videos. And back then, in twenty seventeen, people were putting on a lot of layers of makeup. Uh-huh. <laughs> like there was, you remember that triangular uh, concealer yeah. thing. And, <laughs> a lot of concealer a lot of foundation then you know just one thing over the top so i think the one thing which i absolutely love is how my base has transformed over the years mm-hmm. i started out doing that kind of a base where i was drawing triangles under my eyes yeah <laughs> and we then, all were yeah we you all feel were. like that's changed also post pandemic where we've it become has. more I, about appreciating the minimalism of so. makeup i think so definitely it has and i genuinely like i now i truly believe in applying like using the right products yeah and using them correctly yeah and it doesn't have to be too many products but just like a limited number of products and using them correctly like that's what i believe in now yeah so what i love about my makeup and how it has changed over the years is i think the way 
I do my base and also like how I try and keep it as minimal as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Which I I I love full glam as well when I'm like putting on like proper full coverage foundation and all but I think that has somewhat changed. I used to be a full face of makeup and full coverage makeup person but now I try and do more natural makeup and more something which is more comfortable which is not like heavy. I still have my um full heavy makeup days for sure. Yeah. Um and wedding season for sure we're all going to go a little bit heavy but keep yeah. in mind that your skin has to stay yeah. as much like skin. Yeah. I think like you know what I mean like it I keep saying this over and over again I sound like a broken record <laughs> but I'm saying it so often that you if somebody comes to you and says your foundation looks great I don't necessarily take that as a compliment to my yeah. application and technique but if someone says to me your skin looks great in this makeup look that is a compliment to me I remember you saying that You know yeah. what I mean because yeah. it, it should just be about healthy skin healthy first. skin yes so prepping priming juicing your skin up and skin care of course skin care is also something that oh, I was not 100%. much into yeah but especially after the pandemic I think the, the pandemic kind of just you know I kind of made that switch during the pandemic. Yeah. I started focusing more on skincare and I think that is something which is equally important to me like yes. as as important as makeup for I me. agree with you. Yeah. Just so you know, I am setting my concealer in with the Fit Me powder. I said this time and time again in the drugstore okay. category. Uh this is a really really great loose powder. If you have dry skin, make sure your skin and under eyes are really nicely prepped because you know We have dry yes. skin, but we've yeah. prepped a lot. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, this powder will not work for you because it is not a finely milled powder. It is a good pigment powder. I wear the shade twenty five medium, but it is a slightly thicker powder. So thicker make powder, sure yeah. that you go in with less product and that you've prepped your under eyes well, especially if you have dry skin. I am going to use Elf Halo Glow powder. This is a uh, yeah. Halo Glow loose powder. I am in the shade medium, and this is not as thick as Fit Me. Mm. And if you're looking for coverage, then Fit Me would be a better choice. But this gives that very satiny, dewy kind of a finish. So that's why I really like this powder. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm sorry, but I literally only have the sample with me at the moment. By the time this video goes up, <laughs> we've restocked the Ira Paris filter and the compact version. but i'm using a sample for now <laughs> um don't worry we have a loose powder version as well if you're a loose powder girl but this product doesn't give you coverage so i since i have like really deep set eyes and you know dark circles i need coverage and then i use this for finish so i apply this without makeup just on base at the end of my makeup it gives you that blur it gives you that soft matte finish I think that the way you reacted today was like my favorite thing <laughs> no, about. No, it is it is like I I tried out this powder for the first time and I was just applying it and like looking at the mirror closely that what has this powder done just now? <laughs> I, I was actually because you know first impressions like usually you guys don't get to see the real expression like when we are trying like when we are shooting in a setup and all that i think that expression was very real and very organic <laughs> because usually even when i'm doing first impression videos i at least have a certain idea about the product i knew about iral paris filter i wanted to try it for the longest time but i had no idea what to expect <laughs> so you know i tried it and i was like this is brilliant and i'm like what have you done with it it literally i had some creases under my eyes and it just blurred it out and i loved it thank i loved you. it so much thank you thank you thank you so if you're I'm, if you're like a brown girl who's looking for coverage this product is not for you i'm just going to tell you straight up it's a great finishing powder yeah. or you can use it without makeup of course it's meant for finish in a sense on base mm. on final makeup before your highlighter don't put this on top of highlighter cuz it'll slightly mattify your highlighter then na yeah. um or even if you're not wearing makeup and you're just wearing moisturizer sunscreen you can apply this on top it'll give a blur matte put it in matte place. kind of a finish but if you were looking for coverage in the pigment form Fit then me. You, yeah then you need to go for Fit anything me. that's pigmented yeah. this is translucent but we don't gray out on deep skin tones so i'm going to put that out there as if you haven't mm. already heard this from me gosh why am i like repeating but you You get it. Okay, I'm gonna use it too. Please do. <laughs> yeah. Feel free. I'm done with the base as well. 
love the finish of this powder. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So contour next, right? Contour next. Again, reminding you, we're using all products under a thousand rupees. So yes. putting that out there for the contour. Sugar. Oh my god, I'm also using sugar. Sugar. I'm using the face forward contour stick in the shade Espresso Edge. I'm using Contour de Force Mini Bronzer in the shade Caramel Captain. Are you attending any weddings this season? Um, a couple, but for me, the hectic, hectic wedding season hmm. was literally just before the pandemic, where four of my friends, all four like best friends, really close friends, got married within a span of one and a half months. What? Yeah, and each of them. Are you serious? Yep, and what? each of them had like uh, four four functions. So I was I, at that point of time. How much did you have to dance? <laughs> but I don't mind it to be yeah. honest. I enjoy, enjoy dancing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I just felt like a wedding attender. <laughs> like, and one of them was a destination wedding, which was one day after my other best friend got married in Bombay. From like, he lives in Dubai, but they got married in Bombay. Yeah. And his feras got over. I went home. <laughs> packed my suitcases and the very next morning at 4am or 5am I left for Goa for the destination wedding. Wow. Imagine. Yes. Like I was just living in wedding land I think at that point of time. Okay, this product is a little too pigmented. I'm being very honest. My actual mm. favourite contour slash bronzer currently that is available in the market. They already know there's a verified bronzer in the market. I didn't want to include that in today's video because it's not available so I didn't want to like carrot dangle you um, but I've talked about how I have a bronzer coming up in like really, really soon yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm oh, that's awesome. I share some and I leave some to mystery I, I thought that you used to not share anything at all because I think Jerry I remember seeing one of your stories where you were telling you everyone that uh-huh. how Jerry says that ke sab kuch bata de sara plan yeah. I remember <laughs> Look at what this has done to me. It looks like I have mud on my face. <laughs> it's creamy, but it's very pigmented. So this works right. in uh, in in the video we did for Shivangi's channel. It works. You'll know why I'm saying that. See, Go watch that after this a, video. If you're doing a messy makeup or you're doing a makeup challenge, it works. <laughs> But that's the thing, in the under 1000 category, there are no good bronzers and contours. Why do you think I'm working on one? <laughs> yeah. Get it? <laughs> but yeah, look, but this is a smart. mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. I'm but just... I, I think you can just, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> look at it. It's so like, it's, it's, this is a disaster. Okay. Like, and I took very little. So I'm just being very honest. This is not for it, it, me. I'm really sorry I'm saying this, but it looks like katha. What's a katha? Katha goes in pan. Oh, chuna laga diya. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't want to be sorry. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to. Uh, I also have the same bronzer that you have, Caramel yeah. Captain. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a go. Now you can. I'm. I'm reinforced on why i'm working on a good bronzer <laughs> contour under thousand rupees because we need like my favorites are like hula is my favorite i literally have it sitting right here for oh, backup I can i hula cheat bronzer, for yeah. one step and just use it or should i go get the verified bronzer no i shouldn't use the verified bronzer because it's not released <laughs> not yet no i used <laughs> no. it you used it also are you nice and then it's like uh because i Maybe I should just do the same thing on the other side because like I covered up the mess with the foundation. I have to, to like match it. Yeah. Ugh. And literally I just use this much. It's so teeny tiny and it made a it's mess. really pigmented. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. This one's going in the bin after this video. Just putting it out there. Unfortunately, I liked it. I know. I like used just, to like it even. But I but think I for the challenge you really liked it. For the challenge though, you <laughs> yeah. really liked it. Yeah. No, but I've liked it in the past yeah. too because it's creamy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just, look at this. I feel like no, it's, it's... looking really muddy actually. But I think my takeaway is that it works with full coverage foundation. Yeah. Um, I'm use, I've used very little of this today and that's only because I want, like I said, my skin to look like skin. It probably goes well with like really heavy foundation. It does because I've does used have, it before yeah. and I've liked it before. That's, mm-hmm. you know, kind of where I'm coming from in this product how did you do your makeup for your own wedding 
Like, how did you choose? You must have gotten a makeup artist yes, on board, right? Yes, I did. Right? I did. I did. I had so a makeup artist. So, what kind of look did you have in mind? And- so, I did, and I even did a trial with someone. I did trials with two people, and hmm. I both of them are good friends of mine, very very good friends of mine. Hmm. Um, and just one of them happened to work out. Uh, I love both of them equally, and they're both fantastic. My brief for my wedding looks was very simple. I never want to look back at my wedding photos years and decades yeah. later and say, "Oh God, what was I thinking?" Yeah. So when I look back at it now, I realize that I wore very light makeup, okay. which is great to be honest, because my skin looks like skin. My God, gisa pita, my broken record ke thara sound karne wali hu. But my skin looks like skin, and I um I wore um. I wore like nice eye shadows like yeah. for my nika I wore like a green eye shadow look because my lehenga was green and things yeah. like that but um like even my lashes were so natural I wear heavier lashes now <laughs> than I did on my wedding day so I feel like if I was to get married to Jerry again now now <laughs> I would probably do my own makeup and i would that do it differently sense. i would yeah. definitely do it a little bit no, that's what i feel about my own wedding as well like if i would get get married to my husband again yeah i would do it myself and do it differently because times also change yeah. and trends change trends and change your time. idea of classic changes exactly um and you also seem like someone who doesn't follow like trends for the heck of them I at really all don't. right yeah. i really don't so i feel like it'll be interesting to maybe when you like renew your wedding vows We might do it someday. Jerry and I talk about that as well. Do you plan to do it as well? I would like to. Um, maybe when I complete like ten years, we complete six years on Republic Day, twenty twenty three, twenty sixth of Jan, twenty twenty three is our inshallah our sixth wedding anniversary. Yeah. Congratulations in advance. My God, very in advance, but thank you. Very in advance. I should be congratulating you. It was her wedding anniversary yesterday. In, in present day speak. So do so, do people like wish you happy Republic Day and happy anniversary together? But when do we re- wish each other happy Republic Day? Since we're both formal greeting, हो जाता है. Yeah, but when we do, we do. I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I selected Republic Day as our wedding anniversary because it's also my in-laws' uh, wedding anniversary. Oh, that's so. Awesome. Jerry's parents got married on that day, and I had to choose between twenty sixth and twenty eighth. And then the second they said to me that twenty sixth is their anniversary, <laughs> I was like, "That's it. It has to be the That's same." That's so cute. Because they've been ma- happily married for like, mashallah, forty four years now. Jerry is forty two. I think they had him about two or three years after they got married. I'm a little fuzzy on the details. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, "That's it." <laughs> and that's the one. That's really cute, man. Thank you. Okay, in your order of makeup, what do you do after bronzer, blush? Uh, after no brows now. Oh. Blush and highlighter in the end. Your face and then eyes and then after brows, eyes and then blush and highlighter in the end. <laughs> Because all know, right, my logic behind doing this, I'll tell you. So if I'm using a powder brush, right? When I'm doing my eyes, my hands touch my face a lot. Oh, okay. So I don't. That's why I do blush in the fair, end. Fair, fair, fair. I don't touch I'm, my face. Yeah, like I barely touch my face. Yeah, Maybe that's that, fair. That makes sense. <laughs> That makes sense. Is the lighting looking okay? Do we need to reset our lighting? Mm. Is it my screen that's gone a little dull? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is better. Oh my God, I was getting a little worried. <laughs> okay, for brows, I didn't have much in the under thousand category, uh, but this is a good one. I will say that in the under thousand category, this is probably the only. Brow product I really gravitate to. It's It from is, K. Yeah, it's in the shade hazelnut. It's the K brow pencil. Just in case, I mean, just in case you'd like to know what my favorite brow products are, tell me yours as well, yeah. Yeah. I love the Benefit brow pomade. It is like my holy grail brow product. What about you? For me, I really like this pencil as well in drugstore. This is Lakme 3D brow pencil. It works really well for me. And my absolute favorite, which I've repurchased over and over again, is precisely my brows from Benefit. Oh, that's yeah. See Benefit, so, yeah. Benefit and Anastasia. When it comes to brows, yeah. they are everything. They're so good. Benefit is actually like absolutely worth it. Like I completely understand. A lot of people think that it's. It is quite expensive for just a in pencil India. or a, in India for a yeah. brow product. Yeah. But once you use it, you understand that. It is actually worth it. It's so good. 
it really is yeah. i agree and you know the thing is i understand that in general with any slightly high end luxury yeah. um price tag people can sometimes be like oh but hmm. but in my experience not with all of them hmm. but with like some really good ones i'm like oh my god <laughs> this was worth the money this was yeah. like jojo armani luminous silk yeah the first time i spent money on that foundation i was like hmm, 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 <laughs> like you know yeah. um or the dior concealer uh both fantastic products mind you mm-hmm. and i was like this is worth the money this is why it costs as much as it costs it's it's fantastic it just happens with like there are certain products where you instantly you fall in love like, and then some you hate also yeah some you hate also, also some you like okay, waste to guy i said crap seriously yeah. but a lot of products do make sense i don't think and you know the thing is one more thing which i feel is that a lot of people don't see beauty products as investments like they see it as more kharcha. like like a kharcha more than something that you're putting in money for your like some something you're going to apply on your skin mm. so people don't think it that way I feel like that's a very I'll, important point yeah. because like I'm not saying everyone spend, yeah but then if you ev- use crappy makeup it just kind ingredients, of ingredients where they're testing who they are what they're doing with the product all of these yeah. things are so important but even in drugstore there's some great drugstore products out there it's yeah, just that yeah. you have to like know yeah not just like know of course i also feel like test see where there is value for money sometimes you will find value for money in like clearly we're doing a drug store video today yeah. so these are the products where we found value yeah. for money um, but having said that there are hits and misses in both categories so yeah. i guess don't generalize should be the takeaway yeah. and you only actually know with testing and trying like by no i was saying you have to just know in the sense that you have to it is a trial and error thing it will always be in fact even for us as beauty vloggers yeah. and we create beauty content there are there could be products which might not suit you yeah and it is possible because not everything suits everyone yeah. so this is an area where there is a lot of tests and trials and errors happen but but that also brings me to a very important point in question like do you guys keep an eye on who you are following and their skin type and what suits them and what doesn't suit them because like for example we've realized today that a lot of our favorite products and products that we don't like are very similar very similar but that's because both of us live in hot and humid bombay both of us have dry skin yeah both of us like skin like finish we don't like we have very similar tastes, tastes. in that category in that. but like do you keep an eye out and tell me in the comments yeah uh, like do you keep an eye out on other factors that make the creator influencer you're following choose those items or is it just that okay they said so and so so i'm going to get it or not get it like i'm interested to know what makes you think um, yeah. you know into that zone kind mm-hmm. of a thing i don't know if i'm phrasing it correctly am i you are you are yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> because i've kind of seen so many new perspectives to the way people choose their products through these makeup workshops yes i was in a makeup workshop with someone yesterday who has really dry skin who lived in hyderabad oh god i'm not going to take a name because i don't want to make it sound like i'm calling out very nice woman mm. but she was using all the products that weren't meant for her skin and i felt i remember keeping like after we ended that call feeling yeah. so bad that oh my god she bought products that she saw recommendations for online but she missed out that she has dry skin and whoever yeah. she was following probably didn't have dry skin so keep yeah. those factors in mind in when mind. you're taking recommendations even like even if it's a drug store product or a high end product you just kind of need to know if it is okay for your skin or not just i think little bit of time you need to spend on finding that out yeah like before you spend your money is just a small research that you have to do and even yeah. the, you know influencers that you're following you should know what their skin type is and ideally every influencer should tell you their yes. skin type before recommending their product but na aapka paisa waste ho jayega like exactly. i felt bad for her after yeah. keeping the call yesterday but i was like shit unhone itna paisa barbaad kiya in products par mm. but unka skin type yeah, match hi nahi ho raha hai brows are done yes what are we doing next i'm following your order today <laughs> really i really am okay now we're doing eyes Okay if your wedding look is a day wedding look I would not recommend going too hard on the brows just fill and outline in general um don't go too hard because then it looks a little bit like eveningish you know what i yes, mean yes yes so yes. keep that in mind whether it's a day look or an evening look 
हमारा अगला स्टेप आप हमें बताएंगे आई शेडो आई शेडो आई एम यूजिंग दिस निक्स प्रोफेशनल मेकअप अल्टीमेट शेडो पैलेट दिस इज currently i think it's on discount on nykaa i checked i think and uh, it is under 1500 right now like full disclosure <laughs> this is around 6 700 bucks i checked all the price tags this is the la colors nude palette and can okay. i tell you hmm. this palette is it good i was so impressed because when you look at it it looks like really cool first of all for la girls it's a it cool looks really palette. luxurious yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a mostly cool, cool but like in a sense it works on me is what i was so impressed with because okay. i was like you know i'm really picky about when it goes in this direction in the coolish direction but i'm like their formulations are really good it also comes with crease lid highlight uh, embossed into it you may not be able to see it at the it moment it looks very luxurious honestly it, it does, does right? and it's like some 6 700 bucks um i checked it just this morning when i was selecting products uh 650 bucks mrp plus oh, it's nice. always things are always on discount on, on discount yeah. even lesser uh but it's a really really beautiful palette should we do a it day wedding look or a Let's do a day look, I guess. Yeah, I was aiming for day because I did my brows yeah. also like really like natural and yeah. I uh, let's go for a day look. Okay, like. let's. I love how okay. we're deciding like so like. <laughs> It's just on the fly. Yeah. Um, uh, using brush number nine, and this literally tells I'm you. I'm also using brush number nine from I Verify. I love it. Love their brushes. <laughs> Thank you. You're so yeah. sweet. We're using so many Verify. products even in your video it's really really nice of you no but but i genuinely really like verified products yeah like my audience also knows like i i genuinely really like these products thank and that's you. why i keep repeating them in my videos and just just personally as well i use them a lot thank you only drawback with this palette thoda fall out hai okay. but you know i don't get mad at fall out mm. uh, if it's not too much yeah. because i've now on the formulation side realized mm. that if they press these pigments more yeah. it won't blend with as much ease mm. so just going to put a disclaimer out there in case mm. fall out is a big pet peeve then this one might thoda sa hai thoda sa zyada nahi hai yeah. like it's nothing that i would be like oh god fall out When were you a um, bridesmaid last? Like when did a close friend of yours get married? Because bridesmaid, हम तो उसे loosely term use कर लेते हैं इंडिया में ऐसे ही. But when did you like attend a really close friend's wedding last? My friends are not getting married only. Yeah, <laughs> like I swear. <laughs> we are uh, we completed like five years of our wedding yesterday, and we were talking about it. All the single friends would come. To our wedding, are still single. Ayyo. They're not getting married only. But It's are just, they happy single? Yeah, they are happy single. So I think the last time I was a bridesmaid was in 2014. I I'm not joking. My God. <laughs> yeah, long time ago. I was a bridesmaid last eight months ago in March. Eight months ago. Yeah, in March, literally this year. <laughs> this year. One of my best friends got married in March, and. Um, It was an intense wedding because it was like four, five functions packed into two and a half days. Wow! Um, but it was so fun and so mad <laughs> that yeah, I, I have a vlog from it. I'll leave a link in. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly miss attending weddings because I have not attended one in a long, long time. I've only made tutorials on wedding guest makeup, <laughs> and I think I found some piece there. Okay, chalo, I'm at least <laughs> getting to do my makeup. <laughs> Even if I'm not going to a wedding, but I miss attending a good wedding, dude. Like uh, it's been a while. You and I got married in the same year, right? I 17. got. You got married in sixteen or seven? Seventeen, only, you know? Jan. Yeah. yeah. Jerry proposed in June two thousand sixteen. Okay. On his birthday. Okay. <laughs> and I got married six months. Later. I remember seeing your proposal. It was so cute. Yeah. yeah. Listen, that really was before like. Proposals, the yeah, proposal well, things yeah. like content, uh, uh, you know, potential content pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is way back when. Yeah, yeah. I was in bathroom slippers. <laughs> I was in like those घर का spongy chappal जो होता है. Yeah. I was literally in that. Thank God I had my nails done. I, I did not even have my chappals on. <laughs> Tell me what yours. Where was that? No, it was on my birthday. uh the same year on my after our parents had met and a shaadi was decided 
अर्जुन अर्जुन फूड Ever. Okay. I love pizza. I so feel he, really good about serving her pizza when she came <laughs> today. That's it. The moment pizza, I I just looked at you. I was like, thank you, Anna. I, like, I didn't know. She did not even tell me it's for me or not. I just told her, thank you. I assumed it was because she was hungry. Now I'm realizing why I used to thank you. Yeah. So anyway, so he wrote like he got like three pizza boxes, and there was there was like, will you marry? No, four Aww. pizza boxes, and he wrote, will you marry me? And in the fourth one, there was this. Cute little ring. So, so cute. that's how it okay, happened. Fine. Yeah, you're uh, you're pardoned. Pardoned. <laughs> and now I'm deciding for her proposal <laughs> to her husband, who she's been married to for five years. And I think turning proposals into content was not even a like it, you, how you were saying, right? Like it was not even a thing. Not even a thing. Yeah. Not it's even just, a thing. Sometimes I see really fancy wedding uh, proposals and weddings with proposals on like Instagram, and of course. I'm very happy for them. This is no shade at anybody at all. Yeah. But I'm just like, like a I didn't get this. Yeah. That's the first thought that crosses my mind. I'm being very honest. B I'm like, but उसको पता कैसे नहीं चला वहाँ पे कैमरा था? Because uh, like uh, like in my case, yeah, there were twenty cameras because my friend our friends were there, Jerry and yeah. my friends were there. So back, even my friends were there. So they only took pictures and videos. And so I guess in a way, our husbands did think about getting videos. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, it didn't need to be fancy or whatever. No, but I I genuinely think I'm also very happy for everyone who have their own lavish grand proposals. Hmm. But at the same time, I think a lot of it is staged, yeah. No, no, I don't think it's not staged. not staged in the sense that they know like that. No, I feel like maybe if they have a hint, they are not letting them know. I don't think it's staged. Like in a okay, for example, like it's not a surprise. At least that's what I feel. It's not exactly like a surprise, surprise for a girl. Like what do you mean? Like. I feel like they know that, like the like in your case or my case, I, I had no idea Arjun was gonna do something. I wouldn't like that. be in ghar ka chappal if I knew. <laughs> Shukar and humble Allah, I had my nails done because it was Jerry's birthday, and I was like, oh, I'm getting my nails done for my boyfriend's birthday. <laughs> But I think But I feel this surprised. I feel like along the way to places, because like, and I'm saying this cumulatively of like fifty yeah. thousand proposal videos I've seen on Instagram at this point. I feel like somewhere along the way the girl gets the hint, but probably she holds on to I, like react. I feel like the happiness is real, of but the shock of being proposed is not. <laughs> like oh, I don't know, like that. maybe like that. Like Nibbles has walked across uh, my table and cut the camera with the connection here. Beautiful. So I don't know where it got cut off last. But not for every video. Like I was just there's some videos where I've seen where I could tell the girl knew. Yeah, what is she faking? Like, <laughs> there, there are some some videos. I'm just please send to me. I also I want will, to see I if will, I can make out. I come across a video like that. I'll definitely. My God, send now you. I see any of these elaborate proposal videos. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> yeah, please. DM. Do. Okay, next I so I applied a bit of brown and I mixed a bit of peach. Applied it all over my lids and my crease. Now I am going to dig into this pretty color. It's like a holographic color, like it's got like a golden pink. It's a two tone. Two tone color. Yeah. yeah. So it's got like a golden pink sort of a shift. I'm going to apply it in the center of my eyelid. I'm taking topaz from my verified highlighters and going into my inner corners because I love a good, like if it's a day thing, I feel like the more actually even evening thing के लिए shimmer looks shimmer. nice only. Looks but right. you can go a little bit more on it. I feel at night, yeah. Just because it can look a little bit more heavy. Yeah. I mean, it depends on personal style. There's no one size fits all. No, I I actually agree with that because you know for for daytime I. Whenever I'm using shimmers, I really spread them out on my eyelids so that there is a hint of shimmer. Yeah. Like it's not very shimmer heavy. And in the evening, <coughs> I take more liberty yeah. with volume. More liberty. Yeah. Like I would use probably a setting spray to apply my shimmers, or just like just to have that solid shimmer thing going on in my eyes. Yeah. But for the day, I usually take it with my finger and spread it out nicely. 
Yeah. In a corner is kind of one of my signature things, so I do it both times, but I'd probably just stop over here on the inner corner and mm. a little bit one third, one fourth, whereas if it was a night look, I could be a little bit more yeah, generous <laughs> with my glitter even not just shimmer. I know people love applying kajal in general on the lower lash line, but I and I love how it looks even on me on lower <clears throat> Lower lash line or waterline? Lower waterline. Water lower line. lash line. Sorry, <laughs> but I like to kind of just go on the upper um lash line, waterline. Wait, we said lash line or waterline? Waterline. 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 Sorry, and um, I'm just gonna tight line essentially. I'm not going too hard on the kajal or, or hmm. applying it down simply because it's a day look. For night look, फिर भी कभी कभी मैं लगा दूँ just because I like the way it makes my it complements my wing liner, which is a signature thing to me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use a liner as well. I'm using NYX Epic Epic Ink Liner. Hmm. That's such Which a nice one? packaging. Yeah, this was some disco edition or something. <laughs> nice. It looks yeah. really beautiful. Um, I love the color bar Jacqueline liner. I think it's one of the best felt liners out there. But I haven't tried that. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know if they're continuing this range, so I'm gonna try to link it. And if I can't find it, I'll link alternates for you down below. But this is also under thousand. Now the thing I with my liner, I'm sorry. No, say, no, say, no, say, say, say. no, no. I was just asking you. Are you creating a wing liner as well? I was literally gonna say wings are my signature. Oh, okay. So I'm always doing a wing. I'll make it a slightly smaller wing for a day. All but right. typically, I just I love a nice big. Wing bold look. look, bold wing look. Yeah. What about you? I, I think I'm going for a half wing liner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to be really close to the mirror to do a wing. I can't do it otherwise. And I make really weird faces while making my liner and mascara. Suddenly there's like silence because yeah. we're focusing on our wings. <laughs> इससे ज्यादा टाइम लगा तो शादी हो जाएगी शादी खत्म हो जाएगी और आई एम स्टिल क्रिएटिंग माय वर्क माय आई स्टार्टेड वाटरिंग एंड माय विंग्स आर अन इवन टुडे एंड इट्स अनोइंग मी तो शादी हो जाने दो मैं ऐसे विंग्स के साथ नहीं जाऊं विद आई पे विद द विंग्स विद परफेक्ट विंग्स वी आर रीचिंग मे बी आई विल आल्सो फिक्स इट अ लिटिल मोर हम रोने आ जाएंगे और अरे फिर विंग्स का वेस्ट हो जाएगा हम फेरों तक पहुंचेंगे ना निका तक पहुंचेंगे ना विदाई तक पहुंचेंगे Oh God, this girl! Uh, I, I'm spoiled by eyeshadow. Oh no! Hasa or mujhe bhi or kuch bhi hasa. I fully spoiled my wing. <laughs> Sorry. Fully? No, I only spoiled it. Mera haath aaj nahi bed ra. Kabi kabi wo hota hai. Kabi kabi wo hota hai wait. You have good eyeliner days and bad eyeliner days. Yeah, na? Yeah. My just a little liner is really not that little <coughs> wing, and. Uh, मेरा हाथ और ये आई एम थ्रो दिस वन एंड कीप दिस ओके दिस नॉट वर्किंग एनीमोर नो इट केप्ट लाइक ब्रेकिंग ऑन द टिप एंड आई वाज वंडरिंग क्या हो रहा है फॉर मस्कारा आई एम यूजिंग द लॉरियल पेरिस एयर वॉल्यूम आई एम यूजिंग फॉल्सीज लैश लिफ्ट फ्रॉम मे बी आर वी यूजिंग फॉल्सीज और आर वी नॉट यूजिंग फॉल्सीज शुड वी मे बी वी शुड I'm so sorry. Maybe we should try double coating the mascara and then decide. Okay. You know, honestly, with eyeliners, I love wearing falsies. But with eyeliners, a lot of times I'm like, even with like a good heavy mascara, it's fine. Even if you apply a good heavy mascara. So I decide based on how close the person is, because I don't want to be a random wedding <laughs> guest person who's walking in with false lashes and look oh, overdressed. Why not? Because like I really believe in being like appropriately dressed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I know I want to wear false lashes, then I will keep everything else minimal. If this person is not that close to me, because I don't want to make it look like my best friend's wedding. When my best friend's wedding is not happening. You know what I mean? Like, no, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. And like I know I'm a creator and all of that, but I don't need to go around to the world proving I'm a beauty creator. That's yeah. just, you know like I don't know if I'm putting it correctly. No, no, no. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Because sometimes I think people can be a little 
ओवर ड्रेस्ड फॉर दी ओकेजन बींग अप्रोप्रिएटली ड्रेस्ड इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी नॉट समटाइम्स ऑल द टाइम कपड़े No, but I, I, I like it. I was mentioning this in a vlog some time back. Yeah. Like they'll know. Um, would you rather be overdressed for an occasion or underdressed for an occasion? I think underdressed, not overdressed. What's your why? Because I'll just feel uncomfortable if I'm overdressed. Like underdressed is still okay. Overdressed is when like all eyes are on you. So I have a similar response, right? Yeah. I'd always rather be underdressed because I just. सटिलिटी में एलिगेंस है इफ यू आर ओवर ड्रेस्ड इट जस्ट लुक्स अ लिटिल बिट लाइक ओ गॉड शी इज ट्राइंग टू हार्ड डज शी वॉन्ट टू टेक द स्पॉट लाइट फ्रॉम हु एवर इज एक्चुअली सपोज टू बी ऑन बी ऑन यू नो वट आई मीन सो आई एड मच आदर जस्ट प्लेस शी वॉन्ट टू डू हर ओन विद आई नो she doesn't <laughs> i don't so that, that's why that's i was thinking like, yeah. like, no, right. lashes pehne ki zarurat nahi hai yeah. meri mere close up shots nahi liye ja rahe hain yahan pe <laughs> kisi aur ke liye ja rahe hain मैं सिर्फ मेहमान बन के आई हूँ मेहमान रहो नो सेम फॉर मी लाइक ओनली इफ दिस लाइक अ फैमिली वेडिंग और समबडी आई एम रियली रियली क्लोज टू दैट इज व्हेन आई लाइक गो ऑल आउट ऑन माय आई मेकअप एंड गेट लाइक लैशेस ऑन एंड ऑल दैट बट एक्चुअली सॉरी सॉरी आई डोंट मीन टू कट यू बट लाइक आई वुड वेयर लैशेस बट आई वुड वेयर लाइक रियली नेचुरल 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 लैशेस या या I'm talking about like the like heavy, heavy like I'm glamorous being... lashes and yeah, all yeah that's what i mean like yeah. it's not about not doing it it's about how much of it are you doing yeah. did i my, i'm just literally spilling words aloud if i put something a little bit upar niche please maaf kar dena nahi nahi sab samajh mein aa gaya it reminds me of a wedding i had attend, attended like hmm. just some very like some family friend ka friend ka friend like it was not like somebody close hmm. <clears throat> i kid you not anam the groom's mum <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it really happened. I'm not making this up. But the groom's mum's lehenga was heavier than the bride's. Oh no! I like, and the makeup and hair and everything. She was standing out on the stage. She really was, and I was like, "What is even happening over here?" But that's so sad for yeah. the bride. That's not how it should be. Yeah, that's what I mean. Be yeah. like appropriate. I'm using अब blush कर सकती हूँ या 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 I'm like कौन से order में जा रहे हैं हम now blush uh, we did contour no we did no at the, the muddy हाँ uh, I said एक second इतना time हो गया मैं जब भी करती हूँ साथ में करती हूँ तो मैं थोड़ा सा okay so for blush and highlight I'm gonna use for blush I'm going to use verified cashmere rose it's a beautiful beautiful pink blush ha uh-huh. and i'm using verifies number 3 blush brush such a stand such a stand okay so i i have to really use it with a light hand you know this blush because it is so pigmented yeah and at the same time it blends beautifully but a lot of times you know i like i have to be careful to take like very little product and then apply it can i give you a hack hmm? um just in case you ever over apply any product cream or powder Yeah. Take some IRL. Yeah. Use this brush. It's an unused new brush. Okay. Um. And take some IRL and go over it. Just go over it. IRL yeah. will help you kind of blend it further, dilute it, because it's translucent. No, at the end of the day, and um, it'll just kind of blend it. Oh yeah. It. Yeah. You've covered your face only. Oh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. I I hope I did not cover my face in this entire video. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine if no, that? No no no. Was... I don't think I have. I don't think I have. <laughs> But this this worked really well. Yeah, so IRL really yeah. just helps blend and put things in place. So if you ever overdo a product and you want to just kind of diffuse it, IRL, and it won't feel heavy. Okay, now for highlighter, we 
I am going with morganite, which is. Oh my god! You literally I use guys. I did no, not ask her to do this. I swear. No, I wanted to create this look with. I'm sorry. I think I need some water. Yeah, please have water. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I, you know, it's not because I'm, you know, collaborating with Anna only. That's why I'm using all verified products. These are some of the products that I genuinely like. I have used in my tutorials as well, and I wanted to use them with. The brand owner. You are very so kind. It's it's an honor to actually use these products with you, you because are you very very kind. So I really wanted to use. But them. I didn't know she was using so many verified products. I swear, Anam did not know that. That's true. But yeah, I'm glad that I'm using all these products that I love. Now, Morganite highlighter. I especially love the fact that it's got this pink hint of pink in it. Yeah. So if I'm doing like a pink nude look or a look which is very how do you say it which is very rosy i guess yeah so it goes very well with this blush this cashmere rose blush and it goes it complements that kind of a look very well so that's why i'm going to use morganite because i think the eyes that i've done are kind of like peachy pink golden so this is going to look very pretty with this look i'm using topaz so just the way she described morganite to be like very peachy pink zone topaz is very nude it will lean pink on some people it will lean brownier on some people to be honest it's just nude it'll pick up on whatever you're wearing and all the hi- uh, highlighters yeah, to I be honest i think on the lids it looks like a very like a nude sheen right yeah looks beautiful yeah i've used it on the on the lids today as well you know our shades like so well <laughs> and so beautifully my god i really appreciate that that's when like when i say that i can tell that you put in a lot of thought in these products i can really see that and i'm like it's commendable what you've done thank you thank you thank you so i've applied some highlighter on my brow bone cheekbones and chin and nose i was just going to ask you where all do you apply your highlighter <laughs> little bit everywhere but i don't like load up also yeah. because like even though this is super super like buildable mm. if you go very less it will just look like a glow yeah so i've gone like maybe to a level 2 where you can see it but i'm not letting it beam either so it's yeah. you can apply it everywhere without it looking like a overwhelming shi- shiny disco ball yes <laughs> i hate shiny disco ball also i think shiny disco ball starts to look like sweat also i I honestly like a lot of. I know that is of course subjective. A lot of people are into that really blinding kind of a highlighter look. I don't know. I feel like it's not for me. Like I don't. It just looks like a, a patch. A lot of times when I see, yeah, when people looks overdo like their hair high- filter. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. It does. Your coffee is here. Oh, thank you. I'm confused on the lips. Should I do gloss or should I just go matte? So the thing is, I feel mm. like mattes just last longer and sit in place. So if you're going to eat, do. drink, sing, um, take pictures, then that's just the foolproof way to go. Okay, down to the last step, and we're going to do lipstick. Lips. lips. Okay. Um, I'm about to film with this product for the first time because in present day, this hasn't launched. In present day, you haven't still tried it. I haven't. I have no idea about this product until you got it out just now. And in present day, uh, I haven't even filmed the launch video, so I've never really talked about it before. But you're very free to use it, please, any time oh you goodness. want. Thank you so much. We have the Verified Instant Filler Plumping Lip Gloss, and I am so proud this of how this product has turned awesome. out. <laughs> I don't want to make it sound like I'm going on and on about the product, but I'm going to give you a quick three-second pitch. It will plump your lips, where you don't need to go get fillers like mine, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's a gloss. So throw it on top of any lipstick, lipstick. liquid lipstick, any, mm-hmm. or below. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Apply on it. Top go for it. Okay. You can even apply it before. That's totally fine. That's okay. Yeah, as well? of course. And then okay. you can apply the pigment on top. Okay. Let's try this out. Moment of truth for me. I can't believe I'm the first person who's trying this out. Like on cam- on, on camera. Yeah. Yes. You really have covered your face through this okay. tutorial. Okay. I think you I'm have. I'm so sorry, guys. I should. I think I should. Ah, what if I play back? Look, you have covered your face. Just put a smiley there. 
it's a round mirror just like yeah. a smile over here it feels really nice it's going to tingle and all cuz yeah. like the way i wanted to work on this product was that it should be at par with like the luxury plumpers out there and international brands so it will tingle your lips uh, obviously cuz it's supposed to like plump them up and that's just how it works but it feels really nice on the lips like it feels cooling on the lips for some reason yeah. slightly you you're getting that uh, are you getting any like menthol menthol type fresh sli- yeah, yeah fresh menthol kind of food and you don't need too much you just need yeah. like very little yeah it's so, tingling but it is not uncomfortable yeah okay yeah yeah <laughs> okay like no. yeah no and i really like it's got like a very subtle that menthol thing going on like it's not very strong on menthol yeah. or like it's got that subtle thing going on so i it didn't want anything nice. that had like a ridiculous fragrance because yeah, a lot of yeah. people can be averse yeah. to that yeah. even with our lip oil even though we have coconut vanilla in it i didn't want a fragrance that overpass yeah cuz you will get irritated yeah. of it after a point so i'm very careful where we have to use a fragrance but My, draw the line yeah, yeah 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 but it plumps your lips up i have applied it oh. and i already have filler so disclaimer over there um no i don't and it does like you can see my upper lip up close like i should have taken a close of i can see the difference yeah I there is the definitely a difference i think you uh, are also supposed to apply a bit of it on the periphery of your lips right you can like apply it however you however like however you absolutely okay. however you like cuz i feel like that's what yeah. makeup is no just like play with it the way you like i can see the difference especially in my case my upper lip is like thinner than my lower lip same and that's why i got filler now you don't need to go get filler you can yeah. just use this yeah <laughs> No, it's awesome. It's really nice. It feels so good on the lips. It seriously does. It's very nice, Anu. Another you. great product coming up. Congratulations. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And please always give me feedback like you I'm, you guys whenever because I'm always trying to do better. So like that's always, always the goal. Always. So I'm applying my lipstick on top of it because okay. if you do it the other way around mm-hmm. your gloss the reason I have kept it clear is first of all is a bootstrap brand I couldn't do like 10 colors because yeah. I needed to start somewhere humble mm-hmm. and uh, if you kind of put this on top of lipsticks you will put tint color, into color, it color yeah, yeah. tint also just it. applying the plumper directly on your lip gives mm-hmm. you a better effect because you're applying the plumping effect directly on your lip surface okay as opposed to Got on it. top of a layer in between Yeah. It would still work very very well but it's just easier and better results. Okay. That's actually really useful information because a lot of people apply like you know gloss always goes after lipstick like that's yeah. the perception. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm using uh one of my favorite shades from Verified Bullet lipstick. It's Monday. Listen, she's damn sweet. <laughs> like what is even going on? Um I'm using carrot caramel latte this is one of my favorite like nude daily wear kind of shades I was debating between pink cocoa and carrot caramel but I settled on carrot caramel because it's a little bit more nude has a tinge of like literal caramel in there um and um yeah I just thought there was enough pink on my face it has really plumped my lip very well like I can tell because you know usually what I do is I fill the uh Overlining. what do you call it i yeah the center of my the lips over bow. here cupid's bow yeah so i always have to fill it to get that kind of an effect where my lips look plump but this has worked really well anam yeah are you comfortable yeah yeah okay very comfortable on the lips that's very important to me i feel like how they how your makeup looks is one thing yeah but how it makes the person feel is a whole other experience We were talking off camera before we applied the lipstick but I was like should I use it and she was like you say you say yeah and I was like okay I went inside and I got it <laughs> a quick reset of the lighting cuz the sun has clearly set and we've yeah. been sitting here chatting on and off camera are you feeling done i'm feeling done i think so i'm going to just create like a very tiny bindi with a kajal i was planning to apply kajal but now i think i'm good with this like this is a little simple and I don't know. Should I add kajal? What do you think? I even like it without the bindi cuz like for a day just, vibe it's just nice. Just like this is nice. No? Yeah, just for a day vibe it's yeah, nice by vibe. itself. Okay. So I think we're done. We're done. 
Wow, and with that, we are at the end of this video. We've both clearly got our jewelry on. The glam is on. We're ready to go attend a wedding, but there's no wedding invite. No. <laughs> Uh, we can go to someone's wedding like i don't know don't somebody do please invite me to a wedding it's been a while please please invite me to a wedding let's just walk around banquets and maybe yeah, like maybe and I, i think we're looking decently good i'm like, wearing pajamas down she's at least no in a complete will, outfit like no one will question us <laughs> No, I swear even I have like pajamas under my clothes. <laughs> I think that's what we all do. This is the the real behind the scenes in a beauty guru's life. Upar se glam, niche se sham. I'm going to I'm going to use that. Upar se glam, niche se sham. I was going to say scam, but sham. Let's go sham. Um I really really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for being on my channel. Thank you so much for I, having me here. Anna. I, I want, had so much of fun. Thank you. I wanted to do this topic. I wanted to do wedding guest makeup and you really made it a whole lot fun. Um and I'm so happy that I did it with someone who has a different makeup routine than mine because that also was a little bit interesting to kind of keep up with. Um, no, this so, was a lot of fun for me as well. Like this was so, th- I you know, coll- I'm I am collaborating for the first time, and it, I'm so glad it was you. I'm with so glad creator. we did like, this. I'm so glad we did this, and hopefully we'll do more of these yes, in the future as well. For sure. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for sharing your beauty with us over here at Wear Fam. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you like our final looks. Yes. We clearly have kept up the whole day wedding vibe. situation and i am leaving links to every single item we use down below in the description section and like i mentioned earlier a little something between both our brands so check that out as well make sure you go check out the beauty based but absolutely fun mischievous video that we filmed on her channel because that was also a lot of fun <laughs> that was also a lot so of fun so i will leave a link to that as well down below make sure yeah. you subscribe to me make sure you subscribe to her make sure you come follow both of us on instagram because there's always so much stuff going on over there as well any Hi. parting thoughts um thank you so much please invite me to a wedding us to a wedding next time <laughs> <laughs> we'll show up we promise and fully like appropriately dressed <laughs> appropriately dressed and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh and again thank you so much anam this was so much fun and i'm going to see you soon again yes thanks yeah. for watching love you guys thank i hope you. you're enjoying vlogmas bye